Thanks. Okay. Okay, we are streaming live on, on YouTube now. I, I've been told to warn my guests to be so properly advised. The show is one year today. Wow. We, we, if we had planned properly, maybe we should have come to the studio and do it from okay. the studio. Okay, live. I've been, I've been measuring it for the past two editions. I yeah. Give me one year. As you are saying, one week it will be one year. <laughs> so I, I, I just don't want to stress uh, you guys. Uh -huh. OK. Uh, just, I was lost. 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 I I I I after his so called illness, he has not been, his head has not been correct. He'll be fighting with men, slapping, fighting in his compound. He's lost the plot. Okay, um, so in three minutes, we go live on Facebook. Uh, Today is our anniversary. I hope you are celebrating. I hope we get more to do. Because I'll start calling people. You call here too. So it's not. Maybe, maybe it's confused about uh, the link. Let me send reminders to them. I told you now the steering committee people. I said, "Are your uh, I have not pasted in your WhatsApp. Look at your WhatsApp now; it's there. Look at it. I, I did that uh, after five. <laughs> what is it? Another way, and that's it. And I now have them in WhatsApp. They're playing some old school vibes here. I think I should reduce the sound though before, before the complaint of uh, copyright uh, copyright infringement. Yeah. Okay, look at the group. Uh, we're sorry, it wasn't direct. Uh, sorry. Uh, my sincere apologies. Look at the group. I thought you are part of the group. Your phone is part of the group. Let's 
Lucy, if you're going to sing for us today, I hope you can sing. Are you going to sing? Happy birthday song for us. She will try. Let me look for one happy birthday song. In case uh, it's a birthday the point. Yeah, I'll back out. I don't want to laugh. Well, don't try to sing. Me? Yes. No, back out from. Ah, uh, what, what do you mean? I have no time. <laughs> about to start. We are going live now on radio. We are live on Facebook and on YouTube. What a number of minutes ago. Oh, 
Here we go, in the name of the Lord. Good morning, friends. Welcome to the first anniversary episode of the Vintage Talk Show with the Fudge. And it's already one year. Can you believe that? Thank you for listening to us all these 50 odd Saturdays on Top Radio 90.9 FM. Same gratitude goes to all who have been watching us on Facebook and YouTube, live or post live. Thank you very, very much. Well, as usual, we'll have a robust conversation, some point blank, about issues troubling us in Nigeria. But, um, but talking points will be different this week. Some folks will share with us what they're planning as um, part of the first anniversary package. Um, before we before we go into it, I want us to have a birthday song, and uh, we have a <laughs> we have a, we have a song guest party in the house. <laughs> Good morning, Nesife. Good morning. Okay, let's break protocol. We are going to start off. Today is a special day. So you're going to yeah. give us a happy birthday song. Let's hear yours before we look for the professional. I'm sure you're going to surprise us. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, sing a song for us on our first anniversary. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us. Mm. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to us. Mm. We are one year today. Okay, they should see your face. We are one year, we are one year, we are one year, one year today. I hope you are seeing this. If you are not seeing for you, okay, let's see for the let's hear from the professional. Let's hear from the professional. You, you have tried. <laughs> Oh, God. Now we're going to hear from the professional. We've heard from Messi Fair. Lovely, lovely. She tried. Where's Sonny Neji? Uh, saying happy birthday to the Vintage Talk Show family. To Mr. T, to Alex, to Bosu, to... Uh, Marcel, okay, okay, to everyone who has been part of us and all the guests that I've featured. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being part of this journey and the last 12 months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Many happy returns. Oh, my mom is long gone. No, thank you. Thank you, Sonny Neji. Yeah, we, we, we are happy to have you. Thank you. We are back on track. Uh, the work continues. Thank you, Sonny. Well, let's let's get back on track after that um, uh, ceremony, so to speak. 
of our first anniversary. So let's go and check up on our ancestors. What will they have for us today? A quote. It says, one who plants grapes by the roadside and one who marries a pretty woman share the same problem. <laughs> That's a problem. That's a problem with sweet, low hanging fruits. <laughs> Too much attention. Well, for here, <clears throat> I beg your pardon, for us here on the Vintage Talk Show, we'll continue to speak truth to power and shine light on dark spots. My name is Femi Akitunde Johnson, and my friends call me Faj. Today, my, my co anchor is there, looking ready and, and bristling. He's always, when it comes to Nigeria issue, he's, you see his eyes red. He wants to fight the oppressor. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> my brother, Alex Ogundaregbe. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Fudge. Good morning, Lagos. Good morning, Mr. Fair. Uh, I believe happy anniversary is in order. Um, I wonder, you know. yeah, and it's great to be here again this morning. Uh, I believe we're going to have a great time. We shall, by the grace of God. Thank you, Alex. And this is fair, um, formally so called, let's say good morning to you. Morning, happy one year anniversary to us. I pray we continue to have good anniversary coming up, more and more years to us. Yes, thank you. Uh, the, that was the song trust you heard earlier. Uh, in case you are interested in <laughs> minding our <her> voice, <laughs> also <Most of> their work. <laughs> okay, uh, don't mind me. Okay, let me start with the usuals: entertainment news, global trends, and reviews of major newspaper headlines. Isifa, are you ready for us? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, shoot. Grammy Awards. Olamide Ashake Eild. YBNL Music Blogger, Sheriff Olaiton, has Eild Olamide and Ashake for their Grammy Award nominations. Olamide and his prodigy, Ashake's collaboration, Ama Piano, got nominated in the Best African Music Performance category. Olaiton's words, in just two years of being in the industry, Ashake is getting his first international nominations, and this speaks more of grace and the fact that you understand the process of consistency. Big congratulations, Solam Dia and Ashake. Congrats. Con yeah, congratulations. That's not easy. <laughs> hey, Alex, the way Grammy is uh, being shared <laughs> nowadays, um, there's something great going on. Either we are so great, or the capacity of the Americans to take new, new entries or new voices has become so great. Mm. Yeah. Our boys are fetching our nominations. The, uh, what, I, what I think is exciting is the fact that they've really begun to recognize uh, Afrobeat and the impact that our artists in this part of the world are making on the music scene. I mean, you find them going abroad and selling out venues you get getting yeah. a lot of attention and making a lot of money in the process. So I think it's in order that, um, you know, a lot of artists before them, like uh, Fela and King Sonia, they, they, they merely got nominations. Uh, they didn't win too many awards, but now I think any. the scene has changed, yeah. The scene has changed. Yeah. Uh, if you see an African or a Nigerian winning an award in those days, it possibly was someone like Shadi Adu, who had spent her whole life abroad wow. yeah, and yes. was able to win in that process. Still, yes, and still a light or what? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Um, Lucifer? And in four narrate stigma of rape. Nigerian mm. comedian Ellen Paul has narrated how she overcame the societal stigma she faced while growing up. Mm. Paul had, a few years ago, revealed that she was born out of rape. 
speaking mm. a viral clip on social media, she says some family members even refer to her as a bastard who would not achieve anything good in life. Mm. She said, some of us can't take rejection. Some of us don't know that our words can make someone feel rejected forever, but no. it's worked for me differently. Mm. I was born out of rape and I grew up with my grandmother where everyone in the area called me a bastard. So I grew up hearing that I'm a bastard. When my aunts come to give grandma money for feeding, they will say, don't use this money to take care of one bastard child. Use it to take care of yourself and buy your medicine. Once they leave, Mama will turn to me and speak in pigeon. You don't hear waiting them and see them, they talk. Now, so this word, Bill. Now, people, where supposed to be your mama blood be that school. But they don't tell you who you be. If you like, grow up, forget yourself. Mm. 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 That's a very, very traumatic revelation uh, 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 from Helen Paul. And yeah. as she said, she's turned right. She's now a, 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 a Postdoctorate degree holder. Yes, professor, uh, doctor. I just so many, some so some many. kind of associate professor now in the in the overseas somewhere in the overseas, and um, she stunned well. And uh, grandma's advice was cogent and, mm -hmm. and uh, prophetic. Uh, whatever I mean, whatever the circumstances of one's birth, mm -hmm. it should not hinder us from excelling, from doing yeah. from doing well in life. Yeah, uh, Helen Paul is a good fine samples for that. And in the eyes of our creator, there are no illegitimate children. Everyone is God's child. So no matter what people say, I mean, it shouldn't really affect our ambitions and what we want to achieve in life. Yeah, all right. Okay. And we saw married 30 women in one day. <laughs> Afro presentation, Nari Song, has captured the spotlight by setting a new record. Married 30 women in a single day. This achievement surpasses legendary fellow Nicola Pokutsi's record of marrying 27 wives in a day. The groundbreaking event unfolded was captured in a viral video where Nari Song is seen amidst a congregation of women, all are drawn uniform traditional attires, a clear indication of the newly minted brides. The video has triggered widespread speculation and discussion about the singer's motivation behind this unconventional move, or if it was all a promotional gimmick. Mm. Well, I, su I suspect it's a promotional gimmick. It, it would be a gimmick. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought it, it was, it started off as a, as a some kind of gospel singer, uh, then uh, into pop and balance and all that. And now he's, uh, he's into... <laughs> In the full blown marriage, oh god! Well, what we need to get call him one day to hear from his side. I use I've been building a mansion to accommodate 30 women and the heart to manage it. Um, uh, two women, it's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a virgin on crisis. 30 women is a sure catastrophe. Well, we <laughs> Married life in multiple places. I was sending him. He will need strength too. <laughs> Is it fair? Can you please go on? No. Oh God. Anuku, I've been jobless for years. Please help me. Mm. Mm. Veteran Nollywood actor and Anuku recently revealed that he has been jobless for years. The actor who was reacting to the viral video of him working with a fellow attendant at a gas station in Delta State. Said that's why he's been a legend. He has been feeding from hand to mouth. In a video message making the rounds on social media, Anuku called on the Delta State governor, Sheriff Uberevori and his fans to come to his aid. I have worked for this country. I have attained the eyes of being a legend, but I've had no job for God knows how many years. And I expect that Nigerians would also know that I did it all for them. <laughs> you did it all um, for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, while not is a sorry situation. Yeah. Um, acting, acting, and everything that concerns it is a personal, um, a personal interest, personal ambition, and personal project. You did it for yourself and your family. Uh, because we didn't share a cup of money from it, 
he didn't do charity for anyone. Uh, maybe he did in private. Um, but that's not to say people should not help him. Uh, the legend. And the legend is so cheap now. This, everybody's a legend now. The longer you stay in the place, the more legend you become. Even those who are five years old in the industry call themselves legends. Uh, it's not their fault. It's what you remember last we are week. Uh, yeah. our discussion with yeah. Kana, Kanayo, oh, Kanayo, we touched on yeah. some of these things and he was telling actors what they should do when they're earning income. It's not everything yes. you spend, yes. you invest, you plan, you know. Uh, I think we may need to call Kanayo back again and have more discussion on that area so that Maybe indirectly, we can advise some of our stars, our budding stars in Nollywood, to take control of their careers. I like the fact you say budding because that advice is a little bit too late for Hank now. Uh, but God, that's nothing too late for God to do. Uh, before you go on, I can see my 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 brother and friend. He just joined us. Uh, good morning, Mr. T. Good morning, Mr. T. He's still looking for his uh, console mic. Okay, he'll join us later, maybe after the break. Okay, let's go on. Is it fair? Oshupa graduates from UI. He's official. Mm. Today, I attended the convocation ceremony of the University of Ibadan, where I graduated from the Department of Political Science, the second class upper credit. Fuji music star Shahid, Saeed Oshupa Korede wrote on his Instagram Wednesday, the 15th of November. He went further. The public should be aware that King Dr. Saeed Oshupa Korede is a graduate of the prestigious University of Ibadan, class 21, Alhamdulillah. Hmm. Great stuff. This is a, uh, I, I was, I was, I was stunned. I was stunned when I read the news, especially coming from University of Ibadan. Uh, it's not all those makeshifts. Uh, Bankere University and all those things. This is University of Ibadan. And it came up with a two word in political yeah. science. This is very, very, very good. Very, very well, good. you know, he's um, one of the few Fuji artists who is really educated. He had an HND before then. So it doesn't come as a surprise wow. to me. Wow. I wasn't aware. Uh, that's great. Congratulations, Saido Shukwa. Uh, now that you have a a recognized degree from from a recognized university it should be less um less uh rascally less seen as a, <laughs> as a, as a, as a uh, for a word of the nice i don't want to use talk or talking and <laughs> less ability, less scatting less combustible and all that you know enjoy your your intellectual pos possession now mm. and show it Congratulations in any case to Said Oshupa. I don't want to mention his other names uh, that will not show, it will not represent his uh, new status. <laughs> Do we still have more, Esife? No, that's all. Oh, you're finished? Yes. Oh, that was quick. Oh, thank you so much. We will, we will take a break now and come back with Global Trends. I hope Mr. T is ready for us. We'll be back shortly. Hello, Mr. T. I can see the icon, but not his voice. It is your, is your distant fool. Hit the table for her, please. There was news that another rapper died. Uh, Ola Diggs or something. I don't know. So if I don't understand you guys know him. I don't understand. I don't understand his I think it's a it looks like it's a gimmick. The guy was supposedly dead and now he's saying I'm sorry, we, are, we apologize uh, for the misinformation. He's still alive. Okay. I pray to God is not a promotional, not a promotional stunt because it will be very bad. 
Yeah, that would be out of off the rails. I mean, yeah. out of. But it would it, be nice. It would be nice if it's not if it's alive, right? But to to set the nation alight, uh, glow with uh, your supposed death, and then you are you are like ah. And you, if you did it for as a gimmick or as a stunt, that would be. That's bad. another publicity gimmick. He, he needs to be, be sanctioned for that. He needs to. You can't put people in despair. Uh, just, I don't think Mr. T is uh, able to link with us. So I will take his, uh, his, um... okay, let's go. When is ready, we'll join. Well, Mr. T seems to be held up somewhere in traffic and is not able to take this portion, this segment of the show, Global Trend. So I will stand in for him, hoping he joins us sometime soon. Um, today, I want to avoid anything that has to do with Israel, Gaza, Ukraine, anything, war. Today, is, we're in celebratory mode. So to do the light stuff the soft news, so to speak. Bad publicity. Technology giant IBM has suspended advertising on the platform formerly known as Twitter after a report said its ad appeared next to a pro-Nazi content. <laughs> the Elon Musk, Elon Musk can't manage that. He's too busy. We want to manage or micromanage that. You know, he must. Since he uh, took over, there have been a lot of issues with Twitter. Even yeah. changing the name yeah. to X. I mean, we haven't got used to that yet. Used to that yet. And why there are a lot of other issues. Be, when you remember the insignia of uh, Nazi, it's not too far from X. And then when we talk about um, profanity or or some kind of a something of a sexual nature you usually use x x rated x this x that apart from um cloth sizes where we have the x x l x s this and that well i don't know i don't think he's failed in any of his projects so it might work out for him but mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's um it's swimming through many stormy i mean much stormy currents uh, this is about uh, Didi. Singer Cassandra Cassie Ventura has accused her former partner and rap mogul, Sean Didi Combs, of trapping her in a circle of violence and abuse in a lawsuit. Uh, Mr. Combs' lawyers denied the claims. Hmm. His love gone sour. His former girlfriend is bringing out the dirty linen for serious uh, house, house house cleaning uh, sean combs that's those, pdd right oh, puff daddy that's PDD. yeah yeah, <laughs> now, oh, yeah. Oh, mm. um that daddy is in sugar daddy problem uh <laughs> let's see the longest hair a Nigerian woman has set the Guinness World Record for making the longest handmade wig. Helen Williams constructed a wig stretching up to 1,152 1, feet and five inches. <laughs> she spent 11 days and 2 million naira to create the hair piece. It took 1,000 bundles of hair, 12 cans of hairspray, 35 tubes of hair glue and 6,250 of hair clips. <laughs> nobody, can, nobody can wear that too. After completing the hair piece, finding a place to lay it out and measure it accurately was difficult. Mm. She chose to lay it out on a highway connecting the cities of Lagos and Abeokuta <laughs> on 7 July. Oh, God. Guinness World Records confirmed the record on Tuesday. Last, I mean, last week, Tuesday, also, this is this week, Tuesday. <laughs> Nigerians have imagination. How can you go and do? I mean, I think she has, she has spent about eight years as a, as a hairstylist or hair maker or something like that. And then you begin to do 1,000, did I get that right? 1,000 
bundles of hair. I, I, it's, how many bundles do you use on hair normally? Two, two, three, or four, depending on the style. Depending on the size or yeah, the style yeah, you want yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. So, so on normal human beings, it will be two or three or four. Now this one is doing one thousand bundles. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like 250 to 300 human beings <laughs> well she's got her attention i mean i believe it's a publicity Happy stunt now. and <laughs> since the guinness world yeah, records not. people have seen it she has the world's attention too i think that's the reason why she did it it's all over the world now you want to check her office somewhere in through i didn't capture I mean, this was taken from a, a an international website, so it, it, it's gotten the attention. Yeah, uh, that that he he wanted. Now, um, <clears throat> pack of cards in Canada. A woman's plan to surprise her grandmother with 100 birthday cards for her 100th birthday has resulted in a deluge a deluge of cards, 282 and counting, from at least 82 different places across the world. She wanted to surprise her, her grandma um, with a, a hundred birthday cards. So I think she told her friends all across so that they can be exactly 100. And they overshot uh, more than 100%. Uh, that woman will flush that. How do you open almost 300 birthday cards? Wow. Um, uh, here's the flying one. Uh, a Boeing 747 cargo jet flying from New York to Belgium has been forced to turn around after a horse, you heard that right, a horse escaped from its stall and caused chaos as the plane cruised at 30,000 feet. Air traffic control audio recorded the pilot saying, we have a live animal, a horse on board. <laughs> My God. <laughs> um, on board the airplane. The horse managed to escape. <laughs> oh, God. That's chaotic. Nigeria, they say, Nigeria, they are not, they're not competent. This is an American jet. I mean, they're flying between New York and Belgium. Oh, imagine you are sitting on, and then across walk, uh, in the aisle, a horse will pass. <laughs> Many people will freak out. A horse will pass. And you know the 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 animal will be um would be, be agitated <laughs> it'll be agitated because agitated. of the yeah i might strike out yeah. wow they're very dangerous you have to turn back okay that's enough for global trends and at least we're having some laughter we'll be back shortly uh with nisipa review and and i hope by then Mr. T will be able to join us. So let's take this, um, uh, this music break and then come back to you. This is Ozumba, um, by the way, a remix um, by Ricardo Banks featuring uh, some of his friends. Let's hear them. Okay, Ricardo Banks featuring Fireboy DML. Hello, Mr. T. What's happening to Mr. T? It could be network issues. Okay. Yeah, it could be. Good morning, Basu. We had a meeting two days ago on, on it, and it was very clear, very clear. Good morning, Basu. 
Good morning, sir. How are you this morning? I'm fine, sir. Good morning, Mr. Alex. Morning, bro. Welcome, sir. Is, there a, is that a national shirt you're wearing? Or is it my you? <laughs> I don't want it to be ominous. There is no... There is no. <laughs> so this is a good deal. We don't <laughs> want all these cranky people around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is. Let me. I'm a national fan. I'm really that. Uh, oh, so that's a national shirt. Okay. Ah, the logo looks like uh, man, you so that uh, so you have not turned back. So the door accuses you of me, they turn, they turn back. <laughs> Okay, we'll be going back shortly. That he has refused to show up. My boys, the single source of stuff. I is Zumba, but we a song now. Victoria Island is an answer. Posh location, Zumba, but we is that a song? No, is that an answer? They love it. Hello, Fudge. 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 Ah, this hey, is Mr. C. Ah, we've been, ah, we've been shouting your name since. <laughs> I said, ah, what happened now? Who's with your voice? I don't know what happened to Please the let's system. Let's see your face. Or... I'm sorry. Can we still see your face? <laughs> I have the Not face where I've, 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 I've affect the voice. Let us leave it to. But you're nice I'm to see sorry. your face. <laughs> I've been sending you notes that I have pressure from here. I, I, I sent you some some footnotes. I don't think you've seen it. No problem. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, oh, Good morning. 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 Welcome on board, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fudge, I'm trying to put my face on, but it's not coming on to me. <laughs> okay, let's be managing your voice for meanwhile. Uh, I'll yeah. <laughs> keep trying the face though. Okay. Uh, I mean, tough. I've been shouting where, where's Mr. T is held up in traffic. I had, oh, Spurge, I had, I had everything. I had everything. Oh, yeah. I had the even, even the sweet stories you were reading. I've rehearsed those stories before now. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, thank God your voice you can hear you now. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, we are back. Today, as we always, as we've been saying, now that we just started, uh, we are today is the first anniversary of this program, the Vintage Talk Show with the Badge. And uh, now my my guys are completing the studio. Um Alex Ogunda Degbe has been here. Good good morning again, Alex. Um, Good, morning, Good morning, Mr. Fudge. Good morning, okay, Lagos. And, uh, and thank God my my co-anchor uh, that went on leave is back now. At least his voice is back. Good morning, Mr. T. Good morning, Good morning. Fudge. Good morning, everybody, and uh, congratulations. We're happy to be here today. Yes, one year after. And joining us, uh, legal expert and social development advocate uh an advocate of many other issues uh good morning Olutuboson Oshifowora. good morning to you good morning Lagos it's always cheerful they call him boss 
boss man and sometimes yeah. boss money. You know, and the, the people's so you don't hear his voice. He's chasing money somewhere in Ajaya, in Lekki, <laughs> in other <our> places. <laughs> the time of the day was not like that. And he's and it's <laughs> fighting for the masses. <laughs> Yes, that is my very much. You know, because uh, to do pro bono, you need to have uh, something more than bono in your account. Um, <laughs> that is good. We're all here. Oh, fine. Uh, let's get ready for the municipal reviews this morning. Let's start with um, the Saturday Tribune. It leads with last week was very, very monotonous. All the elections, Kogi, Imo, Bayelsa. And then the UUR um, results have come out. Uh, I can't believe how Nigerians, Nigerian voters feel after elections. You work so hard, hoping for something, and then something else happens. And then you just you just shrug and go on next, waiting for the next four years. May God help us. Well, Tribune starts with the lead. A Mefiele awarded contract, no, awarded 1.21 billion contracts to female CBN worker, says the FGN. Mm. The ex-CBN governor remanded in Kujie prison. Well, it's just an allegation. So let us don't let us not insinuate and I'm beginning to because Nigerians, when you hear female, that's the reason why they put female CBN worker. Yes, they, they want us to read meaning into it. They want us to read meaning. This is what people only God can save them from going to hell, you know. <laughs> and anyway, they count it in. Female CBN worker. So you do what you think. You just finish the statement. Anyway, it's still allegation. Uh, the allegation. The young man is facing music. On the, I think they have reduced his count to six. I hope um, yeah, six. all will not be thrown out, as we have seen in a number of places. That's what, uh, that's one man who will never know, get any kind of pity from Nigeria. <laughs> No, he can't. Oh Nobody's going to pick him initially. So, Nobody. He, he, he dealt with us. He dealt with us. Body. Uh, he and his uh, boss. <laughs> and his boss threw him <laughs> under the bus. He threw him 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 under the some some ex directors uh, says I worked with Nikki Toby committee. 1999 constitution was badly done. Uh, it says uh, I, I spent nights uh, with um, printer. <clears throat> beg your pardon. I spent night with printer to get a few copies for Bassinger's inauguration. Uh, ex director. <laughs> that's about that's about 20, 24 years. Uh, Late, my brother. Uh, hmm. If you talk about constitution now, Bosu will tell you that there's not only the constitution is the, is the people operating in that problem. So don't let us go into that argument this morning. Um, <laughs> uh, pensioners, Hannah Tribune, uh, say it's a voice of justice. Okay, they're just um, getting happy with themselves there. Yeah? Uh, that's nice. Um, let's see the punch. The punch says Buhari's aides, ex governors, APC bigwigs, intensified lobby for ambassadorial appointments. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Governors, lawmakers, retired military officers submit loyalist names to Bajabia Miller and Toga. Uh, don't appoint envoys as reward system for cronies. Hmm. Vice is Tunumbu. Uh, good luck with some that. Advice, <laughs> some advice we won't be listening to. Good luck. Ideally, <laughs> ideally, yeah, ideally, um, <laughs> our officers should serve as envoys so that they don't have gaps and all that. But do you remember the octogenarian that was appointed ambassador in the US by Buhari? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. It was rewards. That was one of the judges who ruled in his favor when he had his case over an election that he took part in. Nigeria's journalists, they have started though, linking the dots. Of, <laughs> hmm. Sometimes you just, sometimes, sometimes you just, 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 you just
don't leave yeah, the dust. Don't like leave the, the dust by yourself. Like, you know, but but you see, the, the patronage system we run in this country. I won't say will be our end, but it's going to give us stress. And I don't. See it's always give us stress. stress. It's, it's always, always giving us stress. stress. It's always stress. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean. This is this is uh, sixty something years after. We shouldn't be doing some certain things like banana republic kind of style you know how do you appoint someone how do you appoint someone that you know do you remember Bosun? the the international court of justice sent back a, a justice that we recommended to that to the uh, for incompetence which court zero it's do you remember? He, he, he performed very abysmally in the exam zero yes Imagine. yes in a normal yes. exam, you I mean, you, you know the problem with this country is we, we, we undermine the, we undermine certain positions, the kind of appointment that make oh. from this country, and for example, if you look at the work of ambassador, as casual as it may look, it represents certain interests, and if you put somebody who is incompetent there. You are just playing down the interests of the country. That's why you find out that the same Nigerians are suffering in some places, and you wonder, don't we have an ambassador there? Imagine what U.S. ambassadors mean in almost every country where they go. That they put in people who have friends, who have friends, and who can represent the interests of the country. But here we don't look so funny characters, and you push them abroad, and at the end of the day. It's as if the country doesn't exist. And those ones just go there. We've seen ambassadors, quite a number of ambassadors from here, getting into problems over there, people personal problems. I mean, that's not the way it should be, but yeah. uh, God love this country. It does. Us will have I hope we'll get it right someday. someday. I hope we'll get it right someday. It's a big disgrace. They do not know that ambassadorial positions represent the entity of Nigeria, represent the culture, everything mm. about our Nigeria. Mm. And everybody sees them as, mm. as people to go to when you, want, when you want to find out details about a country. They're representing the president. Okay, um, where we, the, Alex, the would like, Alex would like this, uh, this piece from Saturday Independent. He says, Chinubu makes you turn. Cancels 40% IGR deduction from varsities. I think that was, um, that's, I mean, it, it was as if we listened to you. Yeah, yeah we, you know, uh, we, we mentioned it last week on the program. We were talking about the universities. Are they going to be autonomous or not? Uh, if you're going to give them autonomy, you can't say they should start contributing money to one of the national purses right but now i think he has come out and made it clear so uh, at least if the universities eventually attain autonomy at least they can raise revenue themselves and spend it as they will okay thank you <clears throat> i suspect boson will like this um, or not it says with our new airports we have opened open space to the world that's Governor Abiyo. Is that not a cargo airport? Are they going to carry human beings? <laughs> oh my God. So the gateway oh states. I've tried my best to just refrain. I've tried my best to refrain from vision. commenting on, on Governor Abiyo. <laughs> there are a lot of wrong priorities. That, and, um, it's sad. It's sad because the way the state was going. I think all you needed to do is just consolidate on the games, but uh, there seemed to be a whole lot of confusion, particularly with the economic drive for the state, and it's very sad. So a lot of what you see are more well, PRs yeah. than um, yeah. actual uh, actual things happening on ground. Because what Oguste wants to do with the cargo airport is it still it seems to be like the night wonder of the world for me. Oh well, um, you, we must we must cite the fact that Ogun State has one of the biggest industrial layouts in Nigeria, 
and a lot of goods are moved from Ogun State to the rest of the country. But having said that, I still would say, and I will agree with Boston, that a cargo airport is not really a priority now. The man hasn't fixed roads. If you come to Ogun State, I live in Ogun State, I live in Otta. The roads are terrible. Oh, boy. And my God, Agbarada Host Industries and Otta, where I live, if you see the access roads, they are horrible. They are so horrible that people complain and they wonder if we really have a governor in Ogun State. Is that bad? He is overwhelmed because I see a lot of, I mean, maybe just like what Boston said, uh, PR hypes and all that. I get a lot of pictures. I see a lot of pictures of road making, infrastructure, trying to correct road, renovate road, um, construct roads and all that. Are those um, photo tricks or what? Maybe the the, 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 I, the, I, 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 the bulk the bulk of my practice is in Ogun State, and um, I use the courts a lot, and I go from Abelkuta to E4 Ota, E4 Agis, Ishagamu, um, Ijebodi, and all practically every part of Ogun State. I, the roads are in a horrible state because for those now the cargo planes now bring the cargoes in. How them the cargo plane that will land them will in all, all the interland? It doesn't work like that. Even from from the train mm. station, the road from the train station in Abelkuta coming out is is, is almost a nice So I well, think he needs need to give priority to things that 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 are. Um, than like that. So, Governor uh, Biodo, we are hearing us. They say you just they play. You have not started. You have so much work to do. Um, uh, please prioritize. Uh, let the people feel the essence of governance and democracy. Uh, let's go to the nation. It says Apim Court affirms Aba Yusuf's sack as Kanu governor. Uh, oh my God. On easy time, oh as APC's Naseru Gawuna wins again, NNPP heads for Supreme Court, says Reddit threats to democracy. Uh, Aranda one says, um, we'll defeat you finally there. Ganduja tells NNPP. Then finally says, court confirms Bala Mohammed's election as Bauchi governor. There are a lot of court governors and uh, nowadays um they're turning things <laughs> over of course you expect the nation to live with such things um uh wah, 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 wah. do you see uh, boston i thought the appeal is the final case for governorship or is it only that the uh, legislative no, it goes all the way to supreme court it's the legislative um elections like uh, the court of first instance and then stops at the court of appeal. But for governors, okay. it goes all the way. We have from to find a way. To of appeal. Then for presidential, you start from court of appeal. Yeah, and then the final step I is Supreme Court. Okay. But we need to find a way of um, narrowing this thing. Oh, some people will be in court until until they, they, half their time is gone. Yeah. You know, the the electoral laws actually gave a time frame. You remember we back when the Mole the thing spanned like two, three years in the tenor of yeah, uh, the, uh, the, the incumbent. Yeah. So before they now upturn it, that's yeah. why you find some staggered elections around. So, yeah, but since yeah, the introduction yeah. of the extant um, electoral laws, things have actually changed. But somehow, I think we still need to work on it because the major issue is that when you go to court, you need to gather evidence. And most times, you need some time. You saw what happened to Labour Party at the Presidential yes, Electoral yes. Tribunal. The yeah, argument yeah. was that 21 mm. days was too short for them to gather all oh, the. Yeah. So now we are even still asking for short time for this. So if you have to gather um, within all Nigeria, then it might be worse. You might just forget about 
Mm. Yeah, and the council for the Labour Party was complaining that INEC was not giving them access. I don't know. Maybe it was crying wolf. But you can imagine if it's true, no, INEC doesn't give you access to evidence. Then the time is going, and of course, <laughs> you don't get what you want at the end of the day. No, Mr. Alex, in the law, in the law, there's a law that actually sanctions INEC in the electoral laws. In fact, there's a two year jail term. Oh, also, they are putting law for lawless no, people. What, what, they were telling what, that they want to what, they want to calibrate the if give us. Hello. If you have time, they will tell you that they want to calibrate media. the. They want to configure the the, uh, the beavers. They will need three months. They will need this. What will you do? They will throw some their hands. Some, some people are winning. Some people are winning. Some people are winning through the same laws. So. You, yeah, you saw what the solution was said that if you think social media and you are whipping up sentiments and emotions and you leave the major thing, it, at the end of the day, the decision will go your way. We have seen what happened in Kano. We have seen what happened in other places. So those who know the law follow the law and they know how to do their own thing from the beginning. Election won and lost planning stage. You know that, uh, but gentlemen, you, 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 know, you know what my from the beginning. You know what my greatest fear is. My greatest fear is, based on technicalities, we may end up having the judiciary truncating the will of the people. I'm sure you understand what I mean. Uh, they see one small technicality. Yes, For instance, see what happened in Imo State. In Imo State. The person that won the election eventually was not the man who came first or second. I think he, he came third or fourth. And yeah. everything yeah. came on technicality, you know. Until today, a lot of people from that state call the man the Supreme Court Governor. That's what they call him. But I think, I think the man yeah, proved everybody you. wrong last week by getting the real mandate from the people. Mm -hmm. Mm, well, uh, again, the there's, you know, there's news about that. Should not determine a game that has ended in a draw. That's the thing. Mm. The, the game must be determined okay. somehow. So some people have argued okay. against penalties <laughs> for football that they don't want it. But it's part of the game. It's part of the rules. Let's and that's what the laws. And that's what we have. I yes, will see yeah. you. Let's move on. Now. Let's move on. Um, uh, the Alex and Bosun's um, stamina becomes stronger when we <laughs> join the <laughs> um, This is a sad one from the nation. It says, murdered lecturer gets letter confirming professorship at week. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. oh. This is what uh, people pray that you will not have your elimina uh, elevation uh, as a post-human certificate. Uh, that's sad. That's sad. Um, I think we should call it a deal that note. Uh, and that, uh, no, this is an adversary edition. We will we'll not stop on that note. Let's take one more. Let me see. Um, um, Chinobu heads to Germany for G20 compact with Africa mm. conference. Baba is just going everywhere. <laughs> Baba is just moving. Uh, this, Baba At least for was a month. Baba must go. Maybe the Mr. Hajj is for Saudi. <laughs> it's for. I will see results, boss. Baba is traveling a lot. For money. We put everything. Sir, mm. Baba, Baba is giving you know. solid foundation for us. Yes, yes, yes. For money. Yes, you, just, you see, they have, they have stylishly told us that they have said nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, so, thank you for oh. money and investors, and I think he's trying. If he didn't well, start, you know, my you know, concern, my concern, gentlemen, you know, Buhari went on at least 10 African conferences abroad. They made promises. At the end of the day, uh, we, we really didn't see much. 
we've seen Mr. President, President Tinubu move from the UAE to Saudi Arabia, and now he's going to Germany. Uh, well, my hope is that we see the results because at the UAE, um, when the media, the media gave the information, from the perspective of the president, we were made to believe that Emirates and uh, Etihad will come back and that visas will be approved to Dubai. But till now, that has not been done. I mean, uh, you find people, uh, they, they tend to spin the news to favor the authority when they meet with foreign dignitaries to make it look good. I think there were well, some preliminary um, issues uh, on that um, Dubai thing that needed to be sorted out. Um, uh, gentlemen, we, we ought to have um, a discussion on uh, Point Blank, and you are almost spending the time on Point Blank. So it's going to have a very short Point Blank before we move to our next segment if our guests oblige us by coming on time. But I think we have come to the end of today's newspaper review or headline reviews. And we'll be back shortly. But I want to take this. I want you to take this away. It says, Holy Father, my Mayo configuring Big Tony. I think that's a mixture of Victor and Tony. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Our guest has his microphone on. Okay. Charles, good um Charles, good morning. Please mute your microphone. Now, old man, so if you don't see the microphone now. Good morning, Charles. <laughs> good morning, five. And good morning, good morning everybody. everybody. You're, you're here. We're, morning, we're having sir. some we're having some market noise at the background. Please mute until we'll I call you to let's talk. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, Shagun's there too. We'll just do some mix up mix mash because the timing we have uh, we have um over speak, so to speak. We'll just do some mix up mix uh, mash um, because the timing we have uh, Somebody's mic should be short. Shagun, good morning. You can disturb us for like five seconds to say good morning before we move from well music break. You are okay. Okay, you are zipped up. Thank you. Okay. Charles, uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy morning. And a very morning, morning, morning. We will back to you. you. Thank you. Charles, Thank you. Thank you. Um I hope there will not be much hold back. With all this, if Ayo comes in now, Ayo is always coming in a party mood. He might scatter the whole place. So, gentlemen, we just do a little of um, of uh, point blank and come back to this child, this chaps. When they finish, we can continue our point blank. Uh, today is a freestyle. There's no order. We have it's a birthday. We are doing birthday. That he has dropped off. Ah, it must be network. Okay.
This is a Vintage Talk Show with Femi Atkins D. Johnson. It's a busy day today. And uh, my guys are in in high throttle, especially when it concerns uh, the the problems their country is going through. Our point blank would be um, hide and seek. We'll do some now and some later because our guests are already in the house. So we'll talk briefly on our concern about, uh, we have two issues on point blank. The Agile strike that has fit, uh, uh, fit uh, what, how will I call it? That um, a died natural death now. And uh, the NSA's um, characterization, <laughs> as a cataract, cataract, characterization of um, the Buhari administration, how he dealt with us. Oh, I hope we can do it. We will do it next week. Um, that man's case needs special attention. Uh, but first, gentlemen, let's look at them. You know, we spoke last week, we spoke to two gentlemen of the pen who have covered the industry for a long period about Ajaro's, um, Ajaro's anger at um, his beating in the most state, and therefore the call for national strike. They started it actually Tuesday. Uh, Monday night or, or early Tuesday morning, they picked us on places and on, did all that. I think two days after, about 48 hours after, they sat with Bajavia Miller and they saw the lights and they re and they reviewed their uh, thoughts and cancelled the strike. How how did the strike strike you? Did it make sense? Did it, did we have to go through any of those stress for two days? I don't know if if you felt it, you know. I didn't because I didn't go out of the house for that those two days, so I didn't know whether they are striking or not striking. But I'm sure some people felt the pain of the disruption to normal services. How was it like? Did we need to go to all that at all? Totally unnecessary, yeah. if you ask me. Um, first of all, they disobeyed the court order, yeah. and. Any way you look at it, they may find themselves in, in court on the other side one day. And because of the, the way they disobeyed, the court may decide to deal with them. That's one side of it. Now, you ask if mm -hmm. it was necessary and how we felt it. I think it was totally unnecessary. Um, like our labor experts said in the last program, if you keep using the tool of strike, they keep using the tool of strike, a time will come when it will no longer be effective. Uh, a strike should be the last resort. And for the labor union to go on strike because their president was beaten, I mean, how can one uh, individual hold the whole nation to ransom? That's my concern. Uh, a lot of people felt it. Uh, most, my son was due in court. Uh, we have a lot of background noise there. My son was due in court. I've shut him off. In, in Otter, the Otter division of the courts, the high court, my son was supposed to go to court with his boss. Uh, I believe that was on Wednesday. Or, no, it was Tuesday actually. And I saw him come back early and I asked him, what happened? He said, uh, the courts were on strike, you know. So I imagine that a, a lot of organizations were affected. Uh, eventually when I went out on Wednesday, one of the organizations I consult for told me there was no light throughout on Tuesday that they heard that the, the grid was shut down for that day. Uh, I'm yet to confirm that, but I believe the strike did have some effect, but my conclusion is it was totally unnecessary. Uh, quickly, Boston, what's your reaction? Um, well, it affected my own work because on, on Wednesday in Lagos, there was nothing, um, the strike didn't take effect until Wednesday. 
So there was a circular by Tuesday evening, but on Tuesday we were in court. Wednesday we couldn't go to court, and and then the thing was called off uh, by Wednesday night. I think um, the two parties here are to blame. Then be stepping on time when they saw the trajectory and what the implication of that. That was when they came in and saw the NSA trying to mitigate and also called party the aggrieved party. And um, at the end of the day, the man's, uh, the NLC president's action just, it was a bit infantile because for me, he went somewhere, did something fine. Nobody, there's dignity of human being. I mean, dignity of human being should be observed based on the constitution. Nobody be beaten in the way he was beaten. But the fact is, was he supposed to even get into the fray in the first place? to warrant such. So we've seen experts come on and say that nobody should be treated the way he was treated. At the same time also, nobody has um, hesitated to say that this man shouldn't have been in this place in the first place, joining something that he wasn't supposed to be a part of. Then eventually now trying to hold the whole nation to ransom because we were beaten somewhere. I think the whole thing didn't pan out well. Government didn't step in on time. He too was being infantile with his rants. And thank God, at least it's behind us now and we, we moved on. But those two days messed up a lot of things and the people counting their losses. Because I have a case that was quite serious and the thing has been adjourned by one month. And we needed a decision that day. That's the implication of all this unscheduled strike and not well thought out strikes. You don't know how far this thing goes in life of individuals who are supposed to benefit from that day's activities. But we hope we don't see that. But then a, a quick one is our uh, Minister for Labour. I think he's um, pussyfooting. He doesn't seem to be handsome. I, I've not heard from him. I've not seen much effort. Is the NSA and Baja that were actually trying to sort things out with the way everything we didn't hear much said about the minister whether he's still trying to get a mandate or running for his mandate for the electoral I don't know whatever it is but I think one more who is the minister is that Lalong Lalong La who is the minister Lalong that was confused about whether to go back to Senate or to or to continue yes, I think work. he's still running after his Senate. Uh, yes, so sir, he has received. He doesn't really have time for this. He he, he didn't. Uh, yeah. And even uh, while we condemn, while we condemn uh, the NLC and Nigeria, we should also condemn the the system that will beat up anyone for protesting or for picketing. Why will you? I, it was so viciously beaten. Even if it is a politically motivated, <clears throat> I beg your pardon, motivated circumstance, there's no, and the kind of beating they gave the guy is too much. I mean, uh, wh while we condemn the fact that you can personalize struggle, I mean, a corporate struggle for personal injury, uh, we, we should not have a situation where people are beaten up and uh, terrorized. And according to his lawyer, he was he was threatened. He was he was ter he was terrorized. No, that's not right. It's not, it's not right for on any human being. It's not right. Okay, well, let's take a break from Point Blank. Um, Alex and Boston, thank you for having your say. We'll come back after these gentlemen have had their say, and then we'll discuss the issue raised by Nuhuri Badu at the conference of senior military officers. Um, capitally, I mean, with a capital knockdown of the administration of Buhari in eight years. It, that, that was gruesome. But we'll come back to that. Let, now we'll take a break. <clears throat> it's anniversary and that then something's scratching my throat. Maybe I need, we need drinks here. Uh, we'll be back shortly. Uh, have this uh, for the road. Okay, uh, now, uh, Chegu, are you? 
Yeah, yeah, when you come to a place, you meet your microphone before you so I won't look as if you are brought market to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for muting. You can now unmute and we want to see Not your so. face. I hope you are well dressed and that you are using uh, your tiny wrapper because you'll be on Facebook, you'll be showing on YouTube. <laughs> Charles, you can open your microphone now and let's see your face. We'll be We'll be chatting about Wale Olomu Memorial Awards now. I, I hope they can so, hear you. Yeah, we can. Charles, I can hear, you properly, yeah, I can hear properly. I've omitted, so um, I mean, they, they can hear. They can hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. You want you want someone to continue? Oh, yeah. No, no, I've not started. I'm still okay. playing music. Um. Thank God you are open, so we can you can shoot off. Ayo Lawal and um, Charles Okogene. When you are ready, no, even we are ready. Please open your microphone and your video. We need to see your faces. I think Charles is having challenges. He's using two devices now. Maybe it's not working for him. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, Charles. Charles good morning. Is back. Good morning, Ayo. At least you are in a, in a stable place. Okay, I'm sure you can hear me, Ayo. Open your mic. Your mic, open. Open your mic, Ayo. <laughs> mic is on mute, Ayo. Oh. Ayo, open your mic. It's done that. Yeah. Aha, aha. It's only Charles. Good morning. Ayo, good morning. Say good morning so we know you are alive with us. What is the mute? Oh, God. Ayo, all the people that come to radio once in two years. That's um, the lyrics and the music of Mobad in Mole. It says, so, so good. Uh, that was, I mean, we're playing that music. We're playing one or two of his songs, Mobad, uh, because the, our next segment on Talking Point, we'll be discussing issues that has to do with memory, memoriam of another great chap who did excellent work within the Nigerian journalism sector. His name is Wale Olomo. Uh, he worked with me in Fame Weekly and uh, he was a, a, a special talent. He has a knack for getting news from the entertainment sector from unusual places, from incredibly difficult places. Wale will be and, and nose around without sleeping for days because he wanted the best uh, for his company until he died in 1994. Wow. Um, so in, in memory of Wale Olomo, some chaps have come together to set up uh, a committee, a steering committee, to produce and present what is called Wale Olomo Memorial Awards and Roundtable. I have some members of the committee here this month. Okay, I'm launching you. Ayo is, Ayo is on course. Shegun is on course. Uh, Okogere is somewhere looking for, trying to find his way somewhere. So we'll start. To discuss with Ask this morning, what's their plan? What's their, how far have they gone? When is it holding? What's happening? What is it all about? I have uh, some members of the committee with me in the studio. First is the, how will I call it? Um, the diaspora coordinator, 
uh, and the secretary of the steering committee of Wale Lumu Memorial Awards, uh, Shegun Martins Fajemisi. Good morning, Shegun. Good morning, Paj. Good morning, gentlemen. It's uh, nice to be here with you and uh, to our listeners, wherever they are, all over the world. Thank you so much for tuning in to this lovely program. Um, yes, uh, we are steering committee of women. Before, before you start, before you start, go launching. Shem does not waste time, so it's going straight. Let me introduce the other member then. I can come okay. back to you to start off. Um, Shem is talking to us from the UK and um, is a fantastic member of the committee. Uh, you can see from his, his enthusiasm to shoot. Uh, he's, uh, he's also accompanied by uh, the media advisor and the committee, uh, Ayo Dele Lawal, who happens to be the publisher of Pen Touch magazine. I don't know why, what is touch, yeah, not touch, but right. But it's called Ben Touch Magazine. Um, Ayodele Lawal, good morning. It's Ayodele still... Lawal, good morning. He's still looking for his uh, microphone. <laughs> not Okay, the third member, who is also um, searching for how to get across to us, is Charles Okogene, uh, well known entertainment uh, editor. Uh, who is the vice chairman of that committee. So when Charles and Ayo uh, get to sort out their technical issues, they will join us, uh, right? Shagun, so shoot. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, um, I, I'd like to thank you once again for having me on this committee and the, the program as well. Uh, to um, some of us who may not, and I think there will be people who might have heard the name, and um, just know very little about the gentleman that we trying to remember. Uh, that's uh, Wale Olomu. Uh, like Fight said, he was a very enterprising journalist in the entertainment realm, and that's where most of us met him. And uh, one good thing, among the several good things about the gentleman, God rest his soul, is that everyone seems to know him more or less on the same wavelength. Uh, he was very, very passionate about the profession. I will actually say that he actually helped to shape the direction of what we know as entertainment, uh, you know, reporting, so to say, because I always admired him. And secondly, he was very selfish. I'm going into this just to give you a little background and how that ties in with what we are doing. He was very selfless, very, very selfless. I mean, I'll give you a very stark example. Um, we were going to work on this and we were looking for his photos. You won't believe it. With the propensity to take photographs when he was operating, operating in the limelight of uh, flashy, you know, pictures of celebrities. He could have had dozens of pictures, but it was difficult getting uh, Wale's picture. Actually, authoritatively, I say this because I didn't want to ask fight for the picture. I went to his immediate junior brother who remain very close to me today. Yeah. Uh, the picture he gave me was the one I was seeing everywhere because he said that's the best he's got. So he never positioned himself in the place whereby, you know, some people do it, uh, they get fun from it, God bless them. But he, was, he wanted to put entertainment right there in the center. So with that in our mind, when this idea was mooted, kindly by some highly, you know, highly, people that I respect a lot, I thought to myself, this is the time is, you know, uh, right for this kind of thing. So basically, an award has been instituted in his honor, and the focus, the prime focus of the award of WOMA, Wale Lomu Memorial Award, is to look out for people who, like Wale, did contribute enormously to the industry, but for some reason, maybe by design or you know, by remission or commission or remission, they don't want to hug the limelight. They are not interested in that. They are just interested in the job. There are thousands of them in our, in our lovely country. And uh, we want to recognize them. And this is an award of a different kind. Um, it's, you know, the nature of it, my colleagues will delve into that, the nitty gritty of it. Um, but it's going to be different from the way we normally know things when the prime focus of an award will have been upstaged by the flamboyance of people coming to the hall 
and then the whole idea is barely deep deep down on that but it's not going to be like that because the set of people that will come to be that will be nominated and eventually uh the um the awardees will be people that you will look at and say oh yes he did this he did that and one thing why we are doing this we are learning every day i mean we've gone into the archive we've seen people we keep saying to ourselves oh wow yeah he did that he did that you can imagine that coming from professionals so we don't know it all so we truly it open to the public to nominate people tell us and we've been digging ourselves and uh, uh, basically, I don't know the, the category, the award of the category, the category awards are two um, special recognition awards and the lifetime achievement awards. And we also have the round table panel uh, where people will come in and so people are, who know the, the, you know, the nitty gritty of this industry. Will, um, I could talk on and on and on and on, but I think if fight permits me, I know you can, I can step back. So I know you can. Colleagues can unless there are specific questions you yes, want to you're ready, I'm ready to you. thank you if your colleagues are available we will we'll hope to hear from them okay they'll be right. dropping in and out right. we'll come to you um let's take this music and then for this session i'm playing mostly more bad music in in tune with the, what the concept of what you're doing about a memorialization of a of a great guy who had left us almost 30 years ago Hello, good morning, Fudge. Hello, good morning, Fudge. Good morning. Good morning, Ayo. Good morning. Thank God we can hear you now. Well, um, happy to hear that. Well, um, Alex, nice to connect you for after a very long time. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm well. How are you? How's the family? Well, um, Good to hear your this voice. This Wale Olomu Memorial Award is, well, is a special award. And uh, I have to say one thing uh, this morning that a lot of people have not heard from me. Wale Olomu encouraged me to write entertainment that will be writing then. I, I, I wanted to be a sport writer. But when I started reading I film, <laughs> Hello, I Ayo. Ayo. Uh, Ayo. Yeah? Ayo. You are not on there now. <laughs> Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment, really please. Oh, God, Ayo. Please don't 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 close up or leave your voice like this and face, eh? Uh -huh, because you may disappear now. Let me let me quickly introduce him before he goes. Ah, yo. Okay. Okay. Uh, at the background, you'll be hearing the voice of Mobad in the song called "Sorry." Uh, today, the colleagues of um, Adewale Olomu are no longer sorry. He's gone down. They remember him with fondness. And uh, another member of the committee has just joined us. Uh, like I introduced earlier, he was not available to speak. Now he's ready. Welcome to the discussion. Uh, the media advisor of the steering committee of Wale Olomu Memorial Award, Ayodele Lawa, uh, the publisher of Pentorch Magazine. Good morning, Ayo. Ayo, good morning. You can now say what's going Good morning, Fudge. Good morning. <laughs> Abibas, how are you, do how are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, we say thank what? God. Welcome to the show. Well, um, now, what, what the Wale Memorial Awards is about, you know, recognizing the best and what Wale stood for while he was alive. We are trying to, you know, discover people who Wale Oluma discovered, discovered then, and we're doing a special one, you know, since the world is a global village. We are not, you know, going to having to hire a hall, you know, where we have um, people who come, you know, but it's, it's an online award. But probably apart from being an online award, we still have to you know, reach out to people. Because like, um, when we're having an online meeting, a lot of people do not know that like, you know, died a few years ago. And, you know, we're trying to discover some people, you know, like likes of uh, Odeon, OJ, who, is, who produced um, uh, Chris Okochi's album, you know, like when somebody was even talking you? about Papa T, who the party you? Ukuru. Are so, why Lumi Mala Award is a special one, which are is... Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you can hear me, 
I don't think you should be losing. I can, I can hear you, but your voice is faint. Okay, I don't think you, you should be releasing the names of your award recipients now. I, I think we should be talking about the round table. What is it about? Who are the people that will constitute the panel? And uh, what I mean, we, we got a drift that from Shegun that we're having live uh, lifetime achievement award and special recognition award. Okay, let's leave the surprise of who will be the recipients to the day. But can you tell us more about the round table and who will be sitting on the well, round the table? Well, the round table discussion, we are having people who, who are in the entertainment industry who have contributed one or two things. In that. We're having Oris Miliki, you know, um, the GM or probably the MD of... Uh, um, we're having uh, Tony Okoloji of Kosom. We have one uh, Maya Ilara, we have one Keke Kenny Ogunbe um, of Kenny's music. We are having uh, Kenny St. Brown, we are having um, Tani Fresh, and a lot of them. They are discussing about the entertainment industry, the, the, the music industry, how it affects them. You know, like the issue of collective society. We come on board. We have the likes of uh, Koji, we'll be talking about Kosom, how much they've been able to give to Nigerian artists. You know, in the last 10, 15, 20 years, because uh, in as much as um, the entertainment industry is a buoyant industry, we see, see that some artists living, you know, in abject poverty. So, to the clergy, we still have to answer some questions about that. Kenny Music will discover the likes of Eddie Remedies, uh, Iris Abdul Karim, and the rest of them. We we'll come and talk about. I mean, about them, I mean, talk about the industry and how it affects them. So this is part of what we're trying to do in the Valley Memorial Award. We're putting in, you know, a special one, apart from recognizing the best in the industry, where we want people to learn. We are bringing down the intellectual aspect of it, you know, into, into being. So that's the essence of the Roundtable, you know, conference. You know, people will still have to argue Okay. Talking about themselves, we are having um, how the industry have veered in the last forty or thirty years, you know, of its existence. So that is just the essence of the roundtable conference. But apart from the the care care of this world, we have to be as We have other people who have contributed their best to the industry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ayo. Uh, Shegun, if you are still with us. Uh, we want to find out when is this all taking place? Do you have a date, time, and uh, where is it holding on? Uh, if Shagun can hear me, can you uh, can you give us um, some kind of uh, updates on when, where, what, and all that of the event? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Faj. Um, as I rightly said, uh, this is a virtual. Uh, it's a virtual event. And uh, the award will be taking place um, over the over the broadcast uh, period of this uh, program, which is the scheduled time. And uh, um, I'm just I'm just looking at my notes now, yeah, so that I can give you the full details of uh, what's going on. So we're looking at the dates of um, December. And uh, it will be over the period of three weeks, and uh, the scheduled dates um, that just escaped me now. Sorry, just bear with me a second. Um, okay, from your press release, I can help you. It's on the date of yeah, the Yeah, I've got the press December. release. <laughs> I got it now. So It's the 16th uh, of December and the 23rd of and December. The so that, um, yeah, you see that I've been keeping, uh, I've been keeping tabs on you. Now Thank the... You. Um, the the vice chairman of the committee is with us now. Uh, a, a, a notable, a notable entertainment journalist, and um, was a colleague of Wale Olomu in his time. Welcome to Vintage Talk Show, Charles Okogene. Good morning. We call it the good. I will, I, I will up and on. Good morning, Charles. I will up and on. I don't know what is wrong with the network here. I know we, we, we could sense the fact that uh, you're having issues with your network. Uh, we know you have been up and, and down and all that. Thank you for joining us. So, uh, your colleagues have, have spoken a lot about the essence of um, 
uh, the award, why it is being held, where it's being held, what is what is being held, and all that. We want, we would like to hear from you. What's your impression uh, or, or, or perception of Wale as a person and as a professional? Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Farage and other colleagues there. Uh, you know, I have the third time I've not been able to join the meeting for so much uh, network wala. But then uh, I can say that uh, Wale was a very good friend of mine. I uh, was very close to Wale because we meet regularly then at the studio of uh, Harry Moscow, who is also dead. And Wale, to me, was a very good gentleman that uh, will always be the first to get any story. I I go to Wale in fame and other before writing my story to know what Wale has gotten and what I've not gotten. So I was shocked. I was in Ghana in 1994 to cover Panafes when I had the news through Raskimono, also dead, that he's hearing that Wale is dead. I was shocked. So Wale was a very good uh, friend. That is, is what I can say now for, for time's sake. Thank you so much. Thank you, um, Charles. Oh, Kogan. Um, Wale died December 22nd, 1994. So essentially, the, the, I mean, the finale of the ceremony right here on Vintage Talk Show will end on the 23rd of December in commemoration of a good guy. So hopefully the committee members will be around to make presentations to their recipients for the um, Lifetime Achievement Award and the Special Recognition Award. Um, I want to ask Shegun, Ayo, and Charles, what would be your uh, closing remark? What, 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 do you, what do you think we should expect? We expect a lot of people to call in um, to talk about this. We expect a lot of people to be called to make presentations or to, be, uh, to receive the awards and all that. So what would be your final word to us about what to expect on that day, or on those days, or about two different Saturdays in December? If I could go, shall I go? Shall I have? Go ahead, please. Okay. Go ahead, please. Uh, uh, others will be quiet so that we can hear. Hello, Th Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I think uh, this project, uh, beyond the people that instituted it, and beyond even the recipient, the will be recipients, and the uh, contributors to the Roundtable panel, beyond all of us, this is a clarion call to celebrate people while they are alive. We need to be doing more of that. Um, I know we are good people. We do things passionately. I've lived in the UK now for a few years. I'll say running to about 25, 27 years. Everywhere I've been to, for every single negative story that people say about Africans or Nigerians, I look around me, I see hundreds of good things that people are doing. So naturally, we are good people. We are passionate. We are intelligent. And these people are alive. There are people who put things, other things, other people before their whole agenda. I often see that it's very unfortunate that people like that get relegated to the background. So it's a clarion call to just wake up. Let's celebrate the good people. People have contributed, not just, not just about money and flashy things. Uh, let's celebrate them. And uh, what we expect from members of the public, if you know anyone, it, you know, some some projects have come about as a tiny seed, and they've gone on to become something monumental, if passion and common sense is brought into it and sincerity. So I'm looking beyond this award and see what we can continue to do, especially my colleague mentioned things that are affecting the industry. The other young man that we are remembering now, we read about stories, we heard about 
issues between producers and uh, their artists and things. A lot of people are not educated. I mean, what stops us from having a summit? I know people are doing a lot, but is it enough? So we can still do a lot more. So that's what we expect from the people to support us. And people that are coming there, please tune in. Because these are experienced people like Kayo and Charles uh, retreated. They are experienced people. They will talk about the industry. Some of them have lived abroad. Some of them have done businesses with institutions abroad. So they know what of things. And they will be able to marry that to a rich cultural disposition, which I value so much. So that's that's from my point of view. But I'm, I'm sure my colleagues will be able to throw more light on that as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shegun, and have a wonderful weekend. You are and listening in good. the background. The song of, ja, of Mombad called Ja Cover Me. May he cover us all. Ayo, what would be your final statements concerning the Wale Olomu Memorial thing? What would be your final words? Ayo, <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> Ayo, your voice is muted. Well, like what we used to have in the past. Are you hearing me now? Now I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you louder. Yeah, unlike like what we used to have in the past, you know, we have the hall, we have the rasp attached. No, this is a special award. This is one of the will be one of the best in the industry. Be an online award. Like when we're discussing uh, doing our while I mean um uh, meeting. For example, if I does not know that, um, like I don't know, died a few years ago, we're trying to, you know, be, get people who are either alive or dead who will be recognized. And, uh, you know, I think the best thing we can do for Wally Lobo is to have this kind of a thing, of memory. I think a lot of things will come up. Like we have the life of MCSM, we have the Kosom, we have um, the life of Lisa Koroji, we are fighting for the, uh, we're fighting for the right of the artist. But, you know, I mean, um, Oris Miliki, Keke, Kenny Ogunbe. People will ask questions and a lot of things, you know, this thing and what we, apart from recognizing people, will bring out the best part of people. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ayo, and all the best. Shegun, I don't know if um, Charles is still with us. Uh, I want to thank you, Shegun, for coming. Ayo Dele Lawal for coming. Uh, we, we're hoping you are rolling out more of your releases so we get to know and, and understand more. You also can join at all these celebrations on December 9, December 16, and December 23rd. The number to call is the studio line on the on top radio 90.9 FM. The number will always remain 0913-697-3485. I'll call again, 0913-697-3485. 3485. Thank you. Shagun Martins Vajemisi and Charles Okogan, if you can see us, hear us, to speak to us, your final words later. Yes. Let's continue. Duke, are you there? Thank you, Sir Alex. For the voice of the music of Mobad, Jack over me. Thank you, guys. Thank you for, her, for being there. Alex, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank okay. you. I hope, um, uh, this guy will not wake up now and start uh, talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alex, when we come back from this, we'll be moving on to if we, if Boxes don't back, we won't be able to do the um, point blank. I'm do, I'll be doing what we call um, the greats. We've been trying to do it for over three weeks. And this great is uh, Sikiru Ayinde Barista. So we call someone like uh, Dayo or Dayemi or uh, uh, GKB. Uh, one is um, um, the manager and the other is uh, his historian. Yeah. Yeah, we are able to get GKB would be great if we could get GKB. Or uh, me too. Or uh, me too would be great. I mean, it's fantastic, yes, I know. He knows a lot of things about us. I share with Mr. Ayo. You can stay and keep quiet. 
Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye bye. Ok, bye bye. <rire> bye. <rire>I was going to ask if uh, it was possible to put the Kanayo interview online. I mean, that interview was very detailed and there was a lot of material. There. It's online. Yeah, it's online. And I also shared it on Facebook. I shared the links on Facebook. I okay. broke all the uh, different areas and okay. they had a full interview. It was good. All right. Um, Okay, I'm trying to launch this uh, this tab now. Hello, Ebo. Hello. Hello, Uncle Dayo. Uh, this is this is Fudge. This is Fudge, Femi Akitunde Johnson. Hey, Joe, Mark, we have about like two minutes to go on air to talk about uh, allergy. I'm in the studio now. I'm live in the studio now, so I'll call you back now. Oh, okay. How many minutes? Let me let the let the red let it be received. Ah, uh, our program has to by that time. She she had a fifty hundred by get drove by. Can launch it. Can say so. Can start buying so. Okay. Okay. of our musical legends properly so called dead or alive every month we will try to <laughs> today is the turn of the great originator of fuji music the philosopher king incredibly versed in traditional and islamic oracle alaji agba sikiru ahinde barrister with one of his iconic uh, songs fuji garbage Alex, have you ever danced uh, Fuji in your life? Not really, but I interviewed uh, Sikiru Ainde Barista uh, once in okay. Fuji Chambers in Isolo. And it was a very interesting uh, period. Yeah, the, the man is very rich in understanding of music and he has a great gift of composition.
Yeah. It does. It does. Okay, I'm hoping to speak to one of his uh, acolytes uh, to speak about Alaji Agba, Sikura Yinde Barista, who died many years ago. Yes, ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Playing is a Fuji garbage by Alaji Chief Sekiru Yinde Barista. His fans call him Alaji Agba, philosopher king, master of his art. And one of the best persons known to him that I know, I uh, used to be his manager, as the general manager of his organization. Um, and he's here with us. He's now a full-time political leader. And uh, it's great to have on, on board this morning, Elder Dayo Odeyemi. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning everybody. Um, we want to. We would like to hear. We have, I mean, we are doing a special edition on Alaji Sikura Inde Barista. Uh, how long has he left us? Do you remember? I would like to know, is there any official uh, event or concept to immort immortalize his name? For instance, Fela Bration is done every year in memory of Fela Kuti. Um, some other greats, a few other great such things. And they have a foundation, they have something to, to continue to uh, deepen his legacy. Is there anything on ground or anything being planned uh, to immortalize the name of Sikri Wanyide Barista. Yes, about two years ago, there was a, an event called Brand Health. Okay. We have various artists of Barista Dialogic on board and his fans converting him back on to celebrate every two years. That will be next year, 2024. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. So, um, how long did you work with him, and how was it like as a human being working with him? Ah, uh, very pleasant. He was a pleasant human being, very understanding. I, I, I said that his humility was his identity card. Yes, very Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. They, I, I know him as the last general manager for Sikrua in the Barista organization. Thank you, Elder Dayo Odeyemi. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us on, I'm sure you miss him so much because of your uh, as, as affiliation. So you are, you are, you are, you are invited to the Barista show yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I look forward to having that opportunity to be part of Barry Fest in 2024. Um, Alex, do you have any question for um, El Odeemi? Uh, not really. Uh, just to say it's nice to hear from you, sir. And uh, we hope to look forward to having more events built around the legacy of uh, this this great artist because i mean his legacy is huge you have you see a lot of followers and people who have followed his style of music and are making progress in that journey till today so we look forward to seeing more events around him. okay okay thank you that was um uh, alex ogundadebe Formerly of the punch, I'm sure you remember him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Elder Dayo Demi. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That was Elder Dayo Demi, former general manager. Um, I don't think we have enough time to speak to another uh, devotee of uh, the man we call Alaji Agba. This is Mogbere Mide. For the man we call Alaji Sikirua in the Parista. Always philosophical, the last one you had, it was. Uh, relating a story, usually from the great books, spiritual books, to teach lessons. And here's another one called Orimi Ewoni She. Usually, his songs, Alex, usually his, his songs, like Fela, they're always long play. <laughs> yeah. Minutes, 17 minutes. Continuous. Not you like know, the way they used to record in those days. Uh, it was it was yeah. more of analog, so you sit down and you just play continuously, and they try to capture it at once. Unlike today, where we have digital wow. and you can lay the tracks one after the other. Yeah, you can program it. Well, to the fans of Alaji Sikura in the barista, I understand Barry Fest is coming again next year. As in his hometown, Ibado, the capital city of Oyo State. Uh, try to be there. It will, it will bring fun and excitement and history of this moment to you live here. Uh, uh, Alex, we are coming to the end of the show. Uh, will you want to say your last word for today? On yeah. The uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's been nice. Uh, thanks for having us this week. We look forward to you listening to us next week again. Uh, do stay positive, no matter what goes on around you. Remember, you can do good, you can get better, you can get wiser, you can get stronger, only if you're willing to try. So see you next week. Well, after that ho long homily from Pastor Alex Ogundaribe, <laughs> It's nice to say bye. I like, um, uh, what's it called? SEFA. You want to say your final bye? Bye to us. Happy anniversary. Enjoy your week. Oh, we miss that. Your our family is busy. Our family there. <laughs>
<laughs> that was a fair for you. Oh, as we always say, do not, and we're not tired of saying it, be nice to people around you. And um, uh, don't fake it every day. Have a great weekend. From this end, uh, it is bye for now. Okay, thank you, Alex. All right, uh, sir. The cylinder. Okay, you, you asked, well, I'm going to hang around for you for uh, what we discussed. Yeah, I, I wanted to see if I, would, if I could share something. Um, I'm activating now. Okay, go ahead. all right sir can you see what i'm sharing yes i can okay i wonder why i wonder why i had that problem with the uh the other one i think what you should do is i think what you should do is let, let me go out of the studio i will open the normal one the usual one we use for the training okay and you can try it all right sir all right we will show that both ways okay How are you? I'm good. Thank you. All right. Where is the regular phone? Did I give you three? Hey, can I get some? Yeah. Let's do four. Yes. It will start from uh, today's what eighteen. This month only is is um four. So.
for last month. Let me have the plastic. Yes, ma'am. Let me bring my slim bag. There's a small bag inside it. Ah, I forgot that we are still doing live. We are still live on uh, Facebook, YouTube. I'm still streaming live. <laughs>